Hello viewers, welcome to American Hookup Stories. Today we have Meester, who's going to share a tale of intrigue, sex, and mystery. A hookup gone wrong. So Meester. Yes. What happened? And is it Meester or Mister? Mister, Meester, whatever you prefer. So Meester. Yes. What happened? I was living in San Francisco at the time, often on Grindr, just mm -hmm. trying to meet guys. I did meet a guy who lived in Soma. What is Soma? Soma is south of Market area, primarily um, the leather district. So I met this one queen who had a basement. I thought you were going to say, I met this one queen, she was very basic. <laughs> No, she had a basement. Uh, Which is kind of basic. It's kind of basic yeah. for San Francisco, yes. Yeah. What'd he look like? He was pretty cute. Um, he was in his mid-30s, you know, facial hair. Um, Mid-30s, so yeah. older. Oh, a little older, yeah. Decided to head on down and uh, discovered a sling. You didn't know about this in advance? I did not know about it in advance. Like, how was the hookup set up? Just, you know, come over, hang out. Hang, but he meant literally hang out from the ceiling. Right, exactly. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> he invited me to swing, um, which I declined. But you've been in slings before. Have you ever been in a sling? Mm. Can I tell you something about <laughs> slings? Yes. They hurt your neck. Do they? Because you gotta like um, kind of keep your head positioned in such a way that Some it stresses your neck muscles. Some of do have pillows muscles. though, like those leather pillows. Oh, excuse me, Miss High Sadiddy. Some <laughs> of us don't live that life. He had this yappy little dog that was following him all around the house. I didn't think he was gonna follow us down into his private basement, and he did. What was the dog's name? Princess. Princess. Oh Lord, so there was three princesses in a basement in San Francisco. Picture. <laughs> exactly. What, what breed? Like a Yorkie? Um, it was like a mix, something Chihuahua something. Some kind of Chihuahua mix. Yes. Like a, like a Chihuahua. Did it have like so little does. ribbons and shit? Yeah. It so did. this guy was gay. Yeah. Okay. She was real gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I proceed to go down on him. You We're mean not... the guy? On the guy, not yeah, on the okay. dog. I just want to be clear. Simple, basic, head. A basic um, blowjob for the basic <laughs> homo in exactly. his basic basement. Basic dog. Okay. And his dog would not stare, stop staring at me. Ooh, yeah. So the dog was watching the whole time? The whole time. It made you uncomfortable? Very uncomfortable. How so? I don't really like being watched. The little dog. The little how, dog. How close to you was it? It was pretty close. Like sitting on a pillow like, why are you blowing my daddy? Exactly. Yeah, suck it. Princess likes how you suck it. Isn't that right, princess? Oh, yes, daddy. Now that's called doggy style, bitch. Woof. What kind of faces was the dog making at you? Oh, What's girl. going on there? Girl, that's how you do <laughs> exactly. it? Exactly. Uh -huh. I've seen it done better. Princess, you be nice to our guest now, or in the sling you go. Mm-hmm. So at that point, I decided to kind of right. put it away. I'm done. What? I can't. Where are you going? Oh, princess, don't watch. You'd had enough of that doggy bone. I sure did. So did you say, listen, I'm gonna leave because Fido is staring at me? Was it just like an unspoken, I'm done? It was kind of like an unspoken, you know, understood, I'm, I'm done. Did he like pick off. up the dog like, what? <laughs> he might as well have picked up the dog. Did he put that. the dog in the sling? No, but I'm pretty sure that dog's been in there more than once. Oh Lord. My little princess. Daddy, no, please, no. <laughs> Animal lovers, love your animals, but please love them in a different room than the one that we're carrying on in. Please. Right, yeah. okay. But you went through with it because you were there. Exactly, I was there. And how long were you gnawing on his rawhide with this dog staring at you before you just hit your limit? I would have to say a good three to maybe five minutes. Three to five minutes. Yeah. Which is really long enough to do anything yeah, in this world. I right. Mean, for God's sake. The gravy train never pulled into the station no. for him. Mm -mm. Okay. There's no finishing. So I think the lesson for this hookup story is when you're at play, keep the pets away. When I'm getting down with somebody, nine times out of ten, I'm making really uncomfortable, disturbed faces that they can't see, but I know that I'm making them. And if there's a dog in the room watching me, it's gonna interrupt my flow. Yeah. Faces like, oh God, would you just finish? What's on your bookshelf? Or why did I come here? Or what time is it? I could be home watching Star Trek. Or I have a chicken salad in my fridge. I wish I was home eating it. Or bitch, you ain't 40. You know you pushing 75. And then I realized I was by myself. This is Mike Diamond with Meester, and you've been watching American Hookup Stories. Keep watching and subscribe to WOW Presents.